I think uh, the reason for my amendments are many times in life we have to draw from our own personal experiences. I was in a position where I had to care for my mother. I was a caregiver. And uh, having taken her to the emergency department and having spent countless hours in the emergency department waiting for a bed to open up for her and to be able to take her and have her move to a room eventually after 12, 14 hours a couple of different times and go into the hospital and care for her and be with her and then have her discharged and then bringing her home. My experiences in life, I have medical experience. I dealt with a lot of patients many, many, many times and had a lot of experience in dealing with those situations. And yet with someone that you care for, a loved one, and having spent many hours in the hospital with that loved one and having them brought home and not having proper directions I think it's necessary, I think it's important that we have a written discharge plan for these loved ones, for someone that you're caring for, so that you can follow those directions. Again, myself, I've had lots of experiences, but many people have no experience at all. They're in a situation with their loved one. It's emotional time, it's a frightening time, and they're taking them home and not sure how to care for them. I don't think it's too much to ask that there be a written discharge plan specifying exactly how they care for them. And I think that's all that we are asking for in this amendment, for this to be addressed so that someone can give the proper care to their loved one when they bring them home. Thank you. Thank you, Representative. The question before the House is on the adoption of the amendment. The clerk will open the board. The amendment is not adopted.